Questions and commentaires, questions and comments. The Honourable Member for uh, the Honourable Parliamentary Secretary. Yes, thank you, uh, Madam Speaker. Um, Madam Speaker, you know, the member is right when he says that the Parliament has the supreme authority to make the request that they have. The issue is that of the Charter of Rights. You see, the, the, the Liberal Party or the Government of Canada does not believe you should be walking over individuals' rights. That you shouldn't, on a whim, be using things like the notwithstanding uh, clause. The Conservative Party seems to, to feel that they don't have to worry about the Charter of Rights. Ma uh, Madam Speaker. And the question is, why is the Conservative Party today putting uh, a fog over the area of judicial independence because of their behaviour, which, by the way, is making the Auditor General and the RCMP institution uncomfortable by what they're doing? Madam Speaker, the hypocrisy of this gentleman is stunning. There's a gentleman that this government the member's government persecuted Admiral Mark Norman, one of the most respected members of our military. And I want to quote April, January 2017, Admiral Norman was suspended from his position without explanation. The reason he was suspended because he went against a purchasing decision that went against the benefit of the Irving family, great friends of the Liberal Party. January 27th, suspended. April 2017, the PM tells reporters that Mark Norman will likely end up before the courts. Less than a year later, the Prime Minister says again in a town hall that Mark Norman will inevitably lead the issue to lead to court processes. Where was this member standing up for a brave Canadian servant like Mark Norman? You know where he was? Busy spouting hypocrisies in this house. He should be ashamed by his comments here, today. Here. Here, here.